is it not? Hi, my name is Brendan Burns, and this is my audience. So how many of you have had a cell phone growing up in either elementary school or high school? Did you know that 56% of children age 8 to 12 have a cell phone? Studies show that 73% of teachers say that technology helps them respond to a variety of learning styles. Research also shows that 73% of teachers say that technology helps them respond to a variety of learning styles. In this speech, I'm going to inform you guys specifically about the many reasons why kids should be allowed to possess and use cell phones in elementary school and through high school, as opposed to why students who shouldn't be allowed to have either cell phones in school. I know a lot of this topic because I have been a cell phone user ever since I was in fifth grade and I have used my phone ever since I got it throughout my school career. The use of my cell phone has not only benefited my education but has also helped me expand my learning experience and helped me gain a lot of knowledge I couldn't have gotten without the use of technology. In this speech, I am going to cover facts and information over the beneficial use of cell phones and smartphones and how they can help students become better students. I will also be discussing how students should be allowed to carry new cell phones in school and why it is important they do so. The first reason students should be allowed to use cell phones in school is for communication purposes. Now with this being said, a lot of people would assume that the cell phone will become a distraction to the student's learning ability in the classroom, when in fact that is actually just an assumption adults make. They think that by taking away distraction in the classroom, the students will have nothing to distract them with and they'll engage in the learning. Studies show that students without cell phones will, st will still play with their hair, stare into space, check their makeup a dozen times, put their heads down on the desk, ask for bathroom passes, etc. Anything to occupy their time without actually engaging in classroom learning. Whether the students are in elementary school or high school, students are always needing to text or call their parents to let them know their plans. Whether it's your parent bringing you a paper you forgot to bring to school or a text saying they're staying after school to talk to a teacher or a coach, a student, should, a student would need a cell phone to do so. Parents can now, pick, can now pick children up when they call or text to say where they are and when they are finished with various activities. Parents use cell phones to check on their children after school to make sure they are on buses safely headed home. Likewise, children can use cell phones to document bullying happening on buses to tell parents that something is happening to them on the bus. Another reason they would need their phone for is if something bad at school had happened like a tornado or an invader was in the area and the school had to have a lockdown. With cell phones being allowed, they can call or text their parents to let them know the situation so the parents aren't worrying about their kids at school. The second reason students should be allowed to have cell phones or smartphones during the school is for help with schoolwork and education. Studies show that 74% of teachers say that technology enables them to reinforce and expand on content. With this being said, students should be allowed to use cell phones in class either to help take notes, answer problems, or get help with problems on a group subject. Students should, use, students, students should be allowed to use cell phones in class to help them take notes easier, such as taking a picture of the notes so they make sure they get all the information they need. Students will also be able to take notes of each slide and just have the notes with them on their phone at all times because students usually lose their notes because they're in their binders and notebooks, and nowadays students will have their phones on them at all times. More schools nowadays are becoming more technology savvy and if students are allowed to use their smartphones to help them figure out a lesson or to look up something. They have the ability and they don't have to rely on worrying about a computer or a laptop. The third reason students should have cell phones is to broaden research, like use of the internet and help with project-based activities. Studies show that students find the boring classes are the ones that look very traditional with test books, desks and rows, and a teacher lecturing in the front of the classroom the whole time. But actually, classes that hold attention and capture the imagination of students are much more likely to have students seated and working in groups, talking and processing short bursts of information, the use of varied and interesting text material, which does not necessarily include or come from a single textbook, and online project-based work, which usually would require a cell phone or a smartphone, and smart board activities and students teaching portions of classes. Having a smartphone would also allow the student to do research on a project, right there in his seat and at the convenience of both him or her and the teacher and wouldn't have to worry about signing on a computer or going into the computer lab. The use of cell phones in school helps with communication with parents and allows the students to expand their education to help them with their research and project-based assignments. Technology has taken a huge part in today's society and applying this new learning style for students should include the use of cell phones. 
Not only do students benefit from their use of cell phones, but it allows them to expand their educational experience and communicate important information to whoever they may need to. Cell phones are almost a necessity in today's society, and I believe this should also be incorporated into the school program, so no matter what grade level the student may be. I hope through this presentation that I was able to inform you guys on the importance of having cell phones and smartphones in school, and how they are beneficial not only through a learning aspect, but also in key communication. Personally, having a cell phone has benefited me in every way that I discuss my speech, and I hope that this speech has provided a new insight into your previous beliefs. Thank you for listening and have a good rest of your day.